Hello everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to retouch a photo from scratch to finish in Photoshop. First step is to remove the blemish from the skin. To do that, press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. I am going to rename the layer blemish. Go to Toolbar and select the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Press Ctrl plus to zoom in. Left click on the spot you want to get rid of from the skin. Follow the process. You can see the before and after. Next step is frequency separation and skin smoothing. Press Ctrl J twice to make a copy of the layer. I am going to rename the first layer high frequency and the second layer low frequency. Make the high frequency layer invisible. Go to filter at the menu bar, then blur and click Gaussian blur. Set the radius to 9 pixels and click OK. Make the high frequency layer visible back. Select the layer. Then go to image at the menu bar and select apply image. Select the low frequency layer. Set the blending to subtract. Set the scale to 2% and offset 128% and click OK. Change the blending mood to linear light. Select the low frequency layer, go to toolbar and select mixer brush tool, leave the settings the way mine is. Press Ctrl plus on your keyboard to zoom in. Then brush over the skin to make it smooth. You can increase or reduce the brush size by pressing the open and close bracket key. Make sure you brush carefully.
Select the high frequency layer. Hold Shift key to select the three layers. Press Ctrl G to group the layers. You can see the before and after. Next is to add dodge and burn and color grading. To do that, select the high frequency layer. Go to adjustment layer and select curve. Press and hold then drag the line up. Repeat the same process. This time drag the line down. Select the white box and press Ctrl I to invert. Repeat the same process. I am renaming the second layer Dodge and the first layer Burn. The Dodge layer is for the highlight part of the image, while the Burn layer is for the shadow part of the image. Select the Dodge layer. Go to Toolbar and select Brush Tool. Set the opacity to 6% and flow to 100%. Zoom in. Set the foreground color to 100% white, then brush the highlight part with the brush tool. Select the burn layer, then brush the shadow part of the image. Select the Move tool. Next step is Color Grading. Select the Burn layer. Go to Adjustment layer and select Gradient Map. Make the layer invisible. Click the color. Click the small box on the left. Open the color. Here you can type the color number. Left click on the middle. Repeat the same process for the color. Still repeat the same process. Make the layer visible back. Change the blending mood to color. We want the color to apply only on the skin. We need to remove the ones on both the hair and the background. And also other unwanted area. To do that, select the white box on the layer. Select the brush tool. Increase the opacity to 100% and also the flow. Change the foreground color to black. Zoom in. We will brush all the parts that we don't want the color to be.
You can see the before and after. Press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E key to merge the layers. Right-click on the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter at the menu bar, then select Camera Raw Filter. Here you can see all the different settings. Just follow through. You can see the change. Click OK once you are satisfied. The next thing we are doing is to work on the lips, the teeth, and the eyes. Create a new layer on top. Select the brush tool. Open the foreground color and change it to red. Zoom in. Then brush the lips with the brush tool. Change the blending mood to color. Double click on the layer to open layer style. Press and hold Alt key, then click and drag the small shape to the white side. Repeat the same process. You can see that the color has blend. Create a new layer on top. Change the foreground color to white. Zoom in. Change the blending mood to color. Then brush the teeth with the brush tool. Also brush the eyes.
You can see the before and after. That is how you retouch a photo using the frequency separation method in Photoshop. If you like this video, kindly subscribe for more tutorials like this. For any question, leave it on the comment section below and don't forget to like and share this video.